People can be a careless bunch. It seems that we've been in the habit of dumping so much in the trash over the years that not only have we made a rather significant mess out of the planet, but we've also lost a lot of important stuff. All manner of crazy things have turned up in the trash, and you can only imagine what else has been lost. So here for your eyeballs, we have the 20 most expensive things found in the garbage. Number 20. Japan Rubbish Worker Finds Cash When an employee of a waste disposal site in Japan's Hiroshima Prefecture discovered a shed load of cash mixed in with the trash one day while at work, they did something that not everyone would do if they had made such a finding. They reported it. There was $120,000 of cash mixed in with the pile of trash that they were processing, and instead of pocketing it and living the high life, like many less scrupulous individuals might, you know, finders keepers and all, they actually reported it and handed it over to the authorities. It had been found in amongst a large amount of bulkier items of trash like furniture that were moving through the conveyor belt system and the more pieces of shredded bills were found in amongst the trash further along the line. It seems as though somebody had, like a lot of people do, been keeping the cash at home, probably concealed within a piece of furniture, rather than placing their fortune in a bank. The police say that they don't believe the money was in any way connected to a crime and are apparently trying to track down the rightful owner. It seems like that would go down differently in almost any other country in the world, don't you think? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Well, here we have a picture of an old guy with a literal shed load of cash. We're told that he had found it in the garbage, but I'm not really so sure. It looks a little bit sus to me. Is that a weapon that he's holding? And why does he have on golden boots? It's all just too mysterious. I need your help to crack this case. What do you think is going on? As always, let me know in the comments down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Garbage Lottery Ticket If you've ever had a heart-sinking moment, it probably wouldn't have involved the realization that you'd thrown away a million dollars. I mean, most of us are at least a bit careful with that sort of thing. But this Massachusetts couple kind of did just that. They were so busy chucking away all of their trash that they actually dumped a scratch card in the can. And little did they know this particular card was actually worth one million dollars. Joseph and Joanne Zagami realized just in time that they had thrown away a ticket in the shopping bags that they had brought home from the grocery store, which contained the newly purchased ticket. And so they poked around in the trash and found the lost tickets, and they had the surprise of their lives. The ticket was actually a winner. They decided to take the lump sum offer and ended up banking $455,000 in the end. Definitely worth a rummage through the stinky old bin. Number 18. Millions worth of Bitcoin When a guy from Newport in South Wales chucked away an old hard drive, he had completely forgotten that that was where he had stored some Bitcoin. 7,500 of them, to be precise. And it turned out that, despite all the jankiness of that stuff, they were now worth a whole bunch of money. James Howells had obtained the Bitcoin all the way back in 2009, when they were essentially utterly worthless. But then, in 2013, when he began his quest to recover the hard drive, those same bitcoins were now worth $1,000 each. That meant that he had thrown away literally millions of dollars and had no way to recover it. He had dismantled the computer after spilling a drink on it and stored the old hard drive in a drawer somewhere, completely forgetting about its contents. He then moved house and figured that it wasn't worth hanging on to, so he took it to the dump with a load of other junk. And now he really regrets that move, because apparently he hadn't even backed up the hard drive. James has been rummaging through the refuse at the landfill ever since, and he may still be there to this day. Who could possibly say? Number 17. A painting worth one million dollars. Back in 2003, a woman named Elizabeth Gibson was taking a stroll around her Manhattan neighborhood when she spotted something poking out of a dumpster. It turned out to be a painting. It was a modern, abstract piece, 
and Elizabeth admitted that she didn't especially love modern art, but she did feel drawn to it for some reason. That reason could have been the fact that it was actually a long-lost piece of work by Mexican artist Rufino Tamayo titled Tre Persona Yayas, and it was worth rather a lot of money. The painting was quite large and brightly colored and appeared to have been discarded, but Elizabeth did a little bit of research and discovered that the painting had been stolen in 1987. So she got a hold of Sotheby's auction house and they located its owners. They wound up selling the painting for a substantial $1 million and gave Elizabeth a $15,000 reward for her discovery as well as a percentage of the final sale price. Not bad for a quick dumpster dive, I suppose. Number 16. Violin Worth $50,000 When a man in San Antonio, Texas saw a violin left out in the trash by the side of the road, he thought that perhaps he'd be able to use it to put together a working instrument for his wife. But the couple had quite the shock when they took it to be appraised. The violin was featured on the PBS television series Antiques Roadshow, where it was actually appraised by Peter Shaw of Houston dealers Amati Violin Shop. And as it turned out, it was not some sort of run-of-the-mill instrument that had been scratched about by a sixth grader and abandoned after three months of reluctant squeaky practice. Oh no, it was pretty important as a piece of musical history. The violin was a 1922 Giuseppe Pedrazzini, and its present side of the road state was worth $35,000. That's right, even covered in all that schmutz and junk. If it had been restored, it could easily fetch 50 grand. Now that is a bargain find indeed. Number 15. Workers threw away $5 million in diamonds. Well, whoops. Sometimes people are just doing their job when stuff goes wrong. That seems to be what happened here in a jewelry store in Midtown Manhattan. While helping a senior colleague move their office to another floor of the building, some workers at J. Burnback Incorporated dumped a whole bunch of wooden boxes in the trash without having checked inside of them. If they had peeped into them, they would have discovered that they contained about $5 million worth of diamonds. You know, like most boxes, and they would have been less hasty in their cleaning up. It turns out that later that day, a security guard was doing their rounds and noticed the trash, and they had the foresight to look inside and seeing what was in there, they decided to take the jewels and go make a few bucks. That guard had managed to sell some of the gems to a jeweler who was actually in the very same building where they were found. The thing is, however, that guard was then charged with criminal possession of stolen property. Duh. What do you think about all this? Go on ahead and have a great opinion about it in the comments section down below. Number 14. A first edition Apple computer. Almost as soon as you buy the latest model of any kind of Apple product, like the phone in your hand or the MacBook that you work on, it seems to become obsolete and gets upgraded by a whole bunch of new technology. So how in the world would a super janky old Apple computer be worth anything at all? I mean, can you even get dial-up on that thing? Well, somewhat inexplicably, there are some mega nerds who enjoy collecting that old Apple junk, and it makes these early models quite valuable. So when an unknown Californian woman decided that she'd had enough of the dusty old junk in her garage and threw it out, she apparently chucked away a complete Apple One desktop computer that was worth about $200,000. Only about 200 of these original machines were ever built by the Apple founders, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, and Ron Wayne, so it is quite the big deal indeed. The computer turned up at Clean Bay Area Recycling Center, packed neatly within a bunch of boxes, and naturally the center saw the opportunity to make a couple of dollars and sold the entire lot for almost a quarter of a million. They say they're trying to track down the woman so that they can share the proceeds of the sale with her, but I don't know. I've thrown out loads of junk over the years. Nobody ever tracked me down to give me a massive check. What's with that? Number 13. A Fabergé Egg According to some super janky sources, an American scrap metal dealer allegedly found a Fabergé egg in 2014. He was going to melt it down for scrap, but then he realized what it was. <laughs> right then. There are many things that are dubious about this story, but whatever. The main one is that these things are extremely rare and have been missing for literally ages. The mystery of the lost Fabergé seems to pop up in movie plots all over the show, so even if you have no idea what the things are, 
then likely as not, you have at least heard of them. These are basically fancy, schmancy, jewel and precious stone encrusted eggs, and they were designed and created by the jeweler Peter Carl Fabergé. He made 50 of the super expensive things, which by the design were to be bought and sold amongst the wealthiest of all people during the late 19th century. They were a firm favorite amongst the czars of Russia, and the story of the eggs is so entangled in the fates of the Russian royal family that they are inseparable. When the Russian Revolution took place in the early part of the 20th century, the then Tsar and his family were exiled. In the first revolution, anyway. This was a period of great upheaval and, well, if you've ever moved house, you know how easy it is to mislay your priceless Fabergé eggs, right? Anyways, the beginning of the lost eggs was likely during that era of exile. Things then got a whole lot worse for the Russian royals, when in 1917, the revolution fully removed them from the face of the earth and they were all assassinated. More in love with the idea that just fate could have served them this. It was at that point that eight of the original jewel-encrusted eggs had disappeared and never again resurfaced. The other eggs gradually surface from time to time and then are sold amongst the uber wealthy. You know how they just love shiny things after all. But those lost eight have remained unaccounted for. The fact that they're so rare in the first place is what makes them expensive, but these legendary eight lost eggs are basically considered utterly priceless, and they could be anywhere in the world. Time to take a look in the attic, I think. Number 12. A Jackson Pollock Painting If you were to go rummaging about in your garage, what would you find? I don't know about you, but all I ever found in my garage was a stack of old crispy newspapers from the 1970s and a shelf full of mysterious cans with their lids rusted on. Maybe some old artwork from my days as an abstract painter in kindergarten, but never a priceless piece of art history. So this one's quite an unusual story. Back in 2017, an elderly man in Scottsdale, Arizona was moving to a retirement home, and his neighbor was helping him to clear some stuff out of his house. When the neighbor came across a bunch of signed LA Lakers junk, he thought that he should have it appraised. But then he made a staggering discovery. There in amongst all the garage junk were a bunch of paintings, and one of them looked a lot like an extremely famous splattery daubings of Jackson Pollock. A local auction house appraiser took a load of the junk from the garage back to his office, and the painting sat there for three months. They then made a breakthrough in the origins of the painting. It turned out that the old guy had a half-sister who was part of the New York modern art scene back in the 50s and had run in the same circles as Pollock. Amazingly, this was a genuine Jackson Pollock, and although it wound up costing tens of thousands to authenticate it, and even then more to restore it, the thing was worth somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. It's crazy. I'm gonna go have a poke about in the garage for a bit. I'll be right back. Number 11. Seven Gold Bars Back in 2018, a cleaner at an international airport in South Korea was emptying out a rubbish bin when they discovered seven gold bars. You know, just like everybody does. Each of these gold bars weighed 2.2 pounds, meaning that they were worth $330,000 each. The bars had been wrapped in newspaper and then stuffed into the trash. Apparently, the owner had feared being caught with this amount of gold and had hastily hidden it. Although there was no evidence that the gold was connected to any criminal activity, it did seem kind of weird that somebody would throw away this much gold by accident. Anyways, you would think that there might be a way that the cleaner would be compensated for their discovery and honesty about it all, but apparently it seems that the airport had stiffed the cleaner and said that despite the initial reports that they would be able to make a claim, their job included finding lost things, and that meant that they would not be compensated. There is a finder's keepers law in South Korea when something is found, and there is no known owner to be found within a six-month waiting period, but according to the airport, that doesn't apply when the person finding it is at work. I just wonder who may take ownership of this massive heap of gold after six months. Hmm, time to book a ticket to South Korea. Number 10. Rings in the Trash What's the most expensive thing that you've ever thrown out? Have you ever lost something valuable in the trash? Probably not, because I expect that you're all much more fastidious about your special stuff than some people. It seems a little careless, but apparently a woman named Carla took off her massive rock of a wedding ring and her anniversary band, 
worth an eye-watering $400,000, by the way, and then left them in paper towels on the countertop in the kitchen. You know, like you would with stuff worth more than a literal house or two. So when her husband Bernie went ahead and tidied up the kitchen, ah, good on you, Bernie, he had no idea that he was throwing out her gigantic diamond rings with all the potato peelings and soda cans. He took the trash out, and it was collected by sanitation workers as they arrived for pickup. His wife then got back home and realized that her rings were no longer in the kitchen, and then Bernie figured out what he had done. So they called the trash company, and they were told that the truck was headed for a radioactive landfill. That sounds rather extreme and probably a bit dangerous, but whatever. The short of it was that it was dumped into the landfill. They would never find the lost rings. Somehow, they convinced the trash company to stop the truck, and they went, along with three managers from the company, to dig through the garbage. There were about 10 tons of it, and the idea of finding something so small was slim to none, but amazingly, they did it. Number 9. Ancient Mayan Artifacts Now, we all have to make a living, I guess, and that's exactly how this accidental acquisition would occur. This one is more of a finder's keeper sort of story, though. A professional mover was hired to clear out a property of an artist and his partner after their death. A nonprofit foundation was set up to deal with their estate, and people had gone through the possessions to check for items of value. The mover would then be called in to get out what was believed to be trash from the property. He took away a bunch of old junk and a big barrel, but he didn't look at the barrel again for five more years. When he eventually unearthed it and then decided to take a look inside, the mover was taken aback to discover that it was actually full of ancient artifacts. It turns out that the assortment of Mayan pottery jugs, bowls, and figurines dated back from between 300 BC and 500 BC and is estimated to be worth $16,500. That peeved a whole lot of people at the foundation, that's for sure. But there you have it, one man's trash and all that stuff. Number 8. $100,000 in Roadside Trash some state highway workers had a surprise when they were working near Mount Comfort in Indiana in 2009. They found a hundred grand on the side of the road. As the three workers were cleaning up litter along the side of the highway, they found an abandoned tire, and unlike most of these, it was not covered in raccoon guts and discarded on the hard shoulder. This tire was stuffed full of cash. Anyways, the cops got involved, and they had some sniffer dogs do their thing on the money. They found that it had traces of drugs, and was most likely drug money. Well, I once heard that nearly all paper money in circulation in America has traces of drugs on it, but <laughs> what do I know? I sat in the basement all day. Number 7. Freedom Tower Blueprints in Garbage Can All the way back in 2008, a homeless man in New York City found a bunch of blueprints in a trash can on the corner of West Houston and Sullivan Streets. Seems kind of strange, so what the heck was it all about? These were actually the blueprints for the Freedom Tower and were marked Secure Document Confidential and contained detailed schematics of the entire building. It had not yet been built, but you would think that security would have been somewhat more tight, especially for this particular building. One World Trade Center, or the Freedom Tower, is a symbol of resilience, strength, and rebirth in the heart of Lower Manhattan, New York City. The project was finished in 2013 when it replaced the original twin towers of the World Trade Center that were destroyed during the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. The building was designed by architect David Childs, and even its height is symbolic for American reasons. It is 1,776 feet tall, which is to commemorate the year that the American Declaration of Independence was put into play. This is the sort of thing that America especially enjoys. You know, like finding Easter eggs in movies, shows, and advertisements. Its design is a bit of a combination of modern aesthetic and security, featuring a glass facade and a spire that emits a beacon of light which is visible from many miles away. The tower is a hub of commerce and culture, containing a variety of businesses, government offices, and observation decks. The 9-11 memorial, with its reflective pools and names of victims inscribed, occupies the ground level, creating a space for remembrance. Number 6. The Declaration of Independence All the way back in 1991, this guy bought an old painting at a flea market. 
The painting itself was nothing really to write home about, but it was only $4, and he liked the frame, so he thought he might use it. But hidden within the painting was an envelope, and inside that envelope was the only Declaration of Independence. Yes, you know the one, the American one, it's kinda crazy. All the way back along, there were around 200 copies of the document made. It was one of the very first published copies of the Declaration, and there are actually only 24 known to have survived. This particular one was especially well-preserved, since it appeared to have been placed in an envelope in a very long time ago. Even the ink on it had not completely dried when it was folded and tucked away. It had actually been protected by the back of the picture frame ever since. Although 24 of the copies survived, there are only three in private hands. The rest are all held by archives and museums. This really was quite the finding indeed. In 1991, it would be sold for $2.2 million, and then in the year 2000, it went under the hammer again and made $7.4 million. Number 5. Harry Potter Books in the Trash well, this one's gonna get your panties all in a bunch. But frankly, the correct place for all Harry Potter books is indeed in the trash. So this next story only makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Go on, screech yourselves hoarse about the injustice of my statements in the comments below. But I stand by it. Those books are garbage. Anyways, this is the really weird story of a bunch of first editions of these books being fished out of a bin at a school in Buckinghamshire in the UK. Story of all the books and how Harry would actually grow up. The teacher that spotted them decided that although they were a bit scruffy, she would take them home rather than to see them go into a landfill. And so she did. In 2020, it turned out that these books were worth a whole shed load of cash, and they went to auction and made thousands of pounds. It's crazy, but it's true. This Harry Potter junk is weirdly popular. Number 4. Gold Coin in Garbage When a sanitation worker was separating waste in India, she came across a gold coin that weighed 100 grams. In gold terms, that's quite a lot, and therefore it's a valuable thing. The woman decided to be honest and handed the coin into the police as lost property. She was praised for her honesty, although how a person who threw away a gold coin could come forward and Prove it was theirs? Well, that's beyond me. Surely a finder's keeper's law should apply in a situation like this, but who could really say? What do you think? Should this poor old garbage worker be compensated for her efforts? Or should some scoundrel be able to claim the coin as her own? Or maybe it's more likely that the coin sit pointlessly in a police station for all the rest of time. Go on and have a chat about it down below. Number 3. Plutonium from World War II of all the junk that people place into the trash, you really do expect that some things would be handled with a lot more care than others. I mean, what if you have a bunch of really old gnarly plutonium that's just been hanging around since, you know, the 1940s? Would you just go, well, this is gathering dust, we should probably put it out for the garbage? Probably not! But apparently back along, it was just fine to dump all manner of terrible things that you no longer needed, as if that meant that it was just gone forever. While cleaning up the old Hanford site in southeastern Washington state, workers came across an old safe. They opened it up, and inside they found a glass bottle that contained actual plutonium. Yes, the radioactive kind, from the Manhattan Project of all things. This was the same stuff that was used to make the bomb that was dropped in Nagasaki. So you know, it's pretty dangerous to just leave lying around like that. Naturally, a massive cleanup operation ensued, and it just makes you wonder what other crazy old nuclear junk there is out there. Number 2. Michael Jordan's Shoe Next up, we have an old shoe. Not normally an exciting thing to find in the trash. I mean, just one shoe is... Not all that tremendously useful, but this was a special one. This was a sneaker that was found in a dumpster outside the Capitol Court Mall in Milwaukee, only it wasn't any ordinary sneaker. This was a shoe that had once belonged to Michael Jordan. Yes, THE Michael Jordan, the most famous basketball player of all time, and he had worn it during a game and then autographed it. It had been on display at the store in the mall, but then the mall was set for demolition in 2001, it would be chucked out with everything else. A man by the name of Larry was on hand to do a bit of dumpster diving, and he retrieved the sneaker. It was then authenticated and eventually put up for sale in 2019 in order to fetch $20,000. Number 1. Money in a Trash Bag 
And for today's final story, we have some TikTok nonsense, in which some guy appears to find a whole bunch of cash in the trash in Thailand and conveniently makes a wildly popular TikTok video about it. Because, you know, these kind of things just happen all the time, especially in places like Thailand, and especially when you've got your camera at hand to just conveniently find the thing. It's kind of like going out in the desert and then all of a sudden there's a treasure chest from pirate times or something. Or, you know, going to the beach and then all of a sudden you find a gigantic fossil of a dinosaur out of nowhere that nobody's ever seen prior to that. It just kind of shows up there, right? Well, anyways, we're told that he had found all this loot in the bin and whatever. It seems all legit now, doesn't it? Well, that's just about all the bin diving I can handle for one day. But what did you think about these crazy trash-based discoveries? Tell me about the most valuable thing you've ever found in the garbage, or perhaps that you've lost. As always, you can use the comments down below to do that. You should also check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, because I worked really, really hard on them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.